Hey y'all, um, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, a project for Arch Linux uh, for uh, installing Unity which is in Ubuntu and I just thought it was something interesting to try. Um, it's not quite prime time ready especially in VirtualBox but it's getting pretty good. Um, so we'll just uh, step through the processes and, and how I went about installing this. Um, should mention that uh, I tried this a few times in VirtualBox and it never worked, but now it seems to be working. So that's a good uh, that's a good sign of how this project is going. So I installed OpenBox. Okay, so I'm assuming you know how to install Arch Linux. If not, um, there's lots of tutorials. I have uh, some on uh, installing Arch Linux and the in VirtualBox and everything you need uh, to get up and running including an open box uh, video as well. So I'm at my user prompt, so I'm just going to start X. And this is open box. <laughs> you right click. I haven't done any configurations with it except for um, installed uh, XFCE terminal and Firefox. So we go to Arch uh, Linux and it uh, describes the installation and uh, how to go about it. So. Um, there's two ways from the JIT you can get, or they recommend uh, using this one here. Uh, this method, I should say. Uh, so you add this to your uh, Pac-Man configuration file. So we can do that. It's uh, simple enough. And this is also the reason I installed OpenBox to have an interface. So um, we'll open open a terminal, and we'll just do. Uh, We'll edit this file as it says here, etsypacman.conf. So, sudo, and I have leafpad, which is like a notepad editor, and then Etsy Pacman. Um, no, I didn't find uh, any problem where I placed these uh, commands. So, I'm just under the where testing is marked out, I'm going to put these two in. So, we'll just uh, copy this and then Alt Tab. Leaf pad and paste it in. And next one again, we'll copy that control C and paste that in. And uh, let me see, there's a wrap. There I go. And I want to space here, make sure that's correct. Okay, and then we uh, save and quit. And uh, I think this is backwards. This is Pac-Man S U Y. I think it's they meant to say S Y U. Doesn't matter too much. So sudo Pac-Man dash S Y U. So it's found the two uh, repositories. Okay. And everything is updated on the system. And then this command, Pac-Man S, and then a dollar sign, this this in bracket. So don't forget to put sudo before that. And this should download uh, Unity for Arch, or just Unity for Arch Linux. So sudo, paste that command in, press enter. And you're going to get a couple of warnings here. Um, you're going to have to replace uh, GT, GTK2 with Ubuntu's version. So, yes. And the rest should be good to go. So, you just press enter and uh, let that download. All right. So, that seemed to be uh, downloaded okay. Uh, everything installed. Uh, but we're not done yet. Uh, there's a few things here. Um, what I found is that if I tried a different uh, window or login manager, it was really strange and uh, things didn't work right so they suggest you get light DM Ubuntu and light DM Ubuntu I mean unity sorry uh, greeter so again we'll just copy and paste copy and then sudo pacman dash s capital s and we'll paste that in and we'll just grab the other one while we're at it, like DM Unity Greeter, 
these are in the extra repository that you added here. Okay. So I'll make sure I copy that again. And then a space. Press enter. And we'll let that download. Okay, and uh, from there, um, we just do a sudo system ctl enable light hdm okay now one more thing um or two more things actually is to get to your to right click on the desktop you need uh unity um not unity um gnome tweak tool however your gnome tweak tool is looking for gnome shell so you have to install GNOME Shell, and I installed the latest one, and it seemed to be fine. So it's, again, another Pac-Man install GNOME-Shell. And it's not very big. And uh, so you just uh, install that and uh, wait for that to download. And while we're at it, we'll also get... Uh, gnome dash tweak dash tool and I would suggest maybe uh, doing a, a reboot so that's what I'm going to do oh, that has to be sudo reboot alright uh, for some reason I had to reboot twice uh, the window was all wrong um, besides your username that you made um, click this icon and we'll go back to go into Unity default and then type in your password and we'll see what we have. And there we have it. Uh, Unity, um, Arch Linux Unity. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't bind the key because it opens up in uh, my main system, the super key, and it didn't seem to work. And uh, we don't have much in the way of applications. And I want to show you a couple of things that are See, I can't right-click on the desktop right now, so we'll do a search for Tweak, Tweak Tool. There we go. Desktop, and then uh, Desktop Icons or Habit Handle, and you can check and uncheck whatever you wish here. And now we can right-click, New Document, New Folder, Change Desktop Background. Yeah, this is strange. Uh, it's probably VirtualBox. However, if you notice is there anything pictures? No. If you notice, uh, it takes a while for these to load, <clears throat> but there's quite a few uh, that uh, Arch Linux uh, Unity Arch has provided uh, much, much more than what uh, Ubuntu does by default, as you can see. So you can pick what you want. Um, there is the default one here somewhere. The uh, there it is. There, select, and that's it. Now the control panel. If I hit details, it crashes, unfortunately, and sometimes the sometimes this crashes. Firefox will crash the whole system at, at times. Again, this hope. I'm hoping this is just because of VirtualBox. Uh, okay, so um, Firefox did actually crash the whole system, uh, so I had to restart again. So you need Tweak Tool. You can get it to run, but um, if you try to install it through Pac-Man, through the uh, Unity repositories, uh, it just doesn't work. But I did find out that you can download the zip file here on the bottom right corner area. So just download that and save to file and it's done so close Firefox your home folder downloads and here and I have to get an archive program so I'll open a terminal no shortcut for terminal yet sorry um, so just a pac-man sudo pac-man dash capital S file dash roller and that should get uh, 7 zip as well yeah 
and this one here is get the WX GTK. So I'll just copy that. Uh, arrow key up one and control shift B. And we'll get that installed. Okay, and we can exit out of here. And should open. Yep. So we can just take this out, take this and maybe drag it to the home folder. Before we get to uh, configuring the tweak tool from the uh, zip file, uh, there's, you, got, you have to install, it's strange, there's a couple things you have to install, including tweak tool from the repositories. I could not get it to work otherwise, so it'd be sudo pacman-s uh, unity-tweak and then another dash tool. And then uh, you need to uh, What's the other one? This one, uh, sudo pacman that's capital S, notify dash OSD. And that one is installed, I think. Okay. Now it should be just a matter of uh, leaving the terminal open, going to the, or I uh, unpacked it to the home folder. So I'll just double click that and take this top of the address bar, drag it into the terminal. Press the home key, uh, and then CD, change directory to that, and uh, we should be able to we'll list that out. You can see this is the color. It's uh, it already came as uh, executable, so it's just a, a dot, a slash, unity, and if you've done this enough times, it should uh, complete tag completion. Now it should work. There it is. Okay, so um, you can manipulate some of the stuff doesn't work yet. Uh, for example, transparency. I didn't really see. Okay, so the launcher. All right, that works. Panel. Yeah, this one. Just a little something there. Um, you can change the time and date, the 24 hour, even though it is 12 hour, uh, weekday, uh, and uh, date and seconds. You see up here, time. So you know if if you use the Ubuntu and Tweak tool, you know the the rest. Now I've made a, a desktop template uh, to get us like a launch dash or start menu entry, and uh, this might be a long. Uh, winded way of doing it, but it, I think it, I think it works. So, these, this is the basic. You can add much more to them, uh, but uh, for Unity um, Tweak tool, we can try this. So it's a un name Unity Tweak tool, and we'll just uh, copy that and put that in as a comment as well. An exec. Now, I think you have to get the full path. So. Um, copy and uh, paste and another slash unity dash tweak dash tool and the icon is in this data folder under media and high color uh, I don't know. You can experiment. Apps 32. We'll copy the name of the PNG. Copy. And uh, at the end here, put another slash. Like I said, it's a long-winded way to create a desktop entry. And categories, uh, we'll just put system. And you can leave the semicolon there. And now we'll save this as... Um, Unity dash tweak dash tool dot desk top. Now, with any luck, it should run. So, easier just to reopen the home folder documents. Uh, we'll just uh, copy this. Go to home, press control H, go to local. 
and then share applications and paste that in properties permissions allow executing close okay uh, just do a quick log out and log back in and I think I made the icon too large but there it is there and now you have a launcher and actually you could take that and drag it here or anywhere you want now we have the unity tweak tool and uh, theme there isn't much icons you might want to try Ubuntu mono dark or light it looks more uniform than the uh, whatever came out with Bach. Uh fonts I usually have RG B A and uh, slight, but that's up to you. So there you have it, uh, <laughs> Unity Arch Linux desktop with the power of Pac-Man and Arch Linux, and the if you like Unity, which I don't mind, it's and you want to use it. There's an option, and this is like I said, it's gotten so much better. So it won't be too much longer. I think that this will be in prime shape and ready to go okay so that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye for now